Hey friends, welcome back to Unveil the other side. Today we are going to see how to make sweet idli using sweet pumpkin. This is a specialty from Malnad, the coastal region of Karnataka. And this recipe you will need one bowl of grated pumpkin, half bowl of uh, grated coconut, three fourth cup of idli rava or the rice rava. You should not be using the upma rava. Quarter cup of jaggery, salt, ghee, and you will also need cardamom pods. So cardamom is for flavor. You will need about two of them. Take a pan first and add the idli rava or the rice rava. You will have to roast it on a low to medium flame for about three to four minutes. This will make sure that the raw smell of the rice rava, uh, rice rava is uh, completely gone and the texture of the rava also becomes a little lighter as you can see. That's when you know it's ready for making the idlis. So in a bowl, first transfer jaggery. I'm using the organic powdered jaggery here, which doesn't have impurities. So in case you are not sure about the impurities, you can actually boil it in very little water and uh, then filter it out. To that, I'm going to add the grated pumpkin, grated coconut, give it a little mix and then add the roasted rava. So in goes the roasted rava right now. For this recipe, please make sure you are using the idli rava, not the upma rava. Add a pinch of salt, which enhances this uh, flavor of this any sweet traditionally made in India. Also add in the cardamom seeds. If you have ilachi powder or cardamom powder, you can go ahead and add that as well. So now give everything a good mix don't add water yet so make sure you don't have the consistency of the batter going really runny neither very dry so after mixing this is how the consistency is so i'm just going to add a little bit of water about one tablespoon and that should be good enough to go into the idli molds but right now you just have to set a aside for about one and a half to two hours so mix everything thoroughly and keep it aside for two hours this specific idli is made during the festival of naraka chaturdashi on the day one of diwali now i'm setting it aside for two hours so after two hours i'm going to grease the molds the idli molds i'm I, the quantity that i've mentioned you're going to get around 10 idlis so i'm just going to uh, first grease about eight um, idli uh, circles that is two molds here and then checking the consistency of the batter as you can see after resting the batter again has become a little dry so i'm just going to add about one to two tablespoons of water to make it into this consistency that is required to be placed into the molds so just drop the mix into the molds and lightly tap on the top that's how you keep the mixture in the mold you will have to steam it for about 10 to 12 minutes uh, or a little more than that if if you are uh, cooking on a very low flame so it should be done uh, by uh, around 12 to 13 minutes as you can see i'm just placing the mixture into all the molds here and tapping it on the top so that's how you make the molds ready for steaming and now placing it into the steaming pan with the water uh, at the bottom so you get the steam and cover it on the top cook for 12 to 15 minutes based on the flame after it is being cooked and cooled down i'll be able to remove the idlis do it gently because you are there is very little binding here so slowly you can remove the 
idli is from the mold serve it hot or cold enjoy this recipe with little ghee and uh, do try this at home for this diwali